Local authorities often have several sites. How do you recommend approaching this by the deadline, especially as one is by far the biggest main site? If you obviously, if you if you don't have time or like time is limited, and I guess to some extent it always is, you should focus on what is getting the most attention. Um, analytics could be useful there. You could look at, um, you know, what content is being uh, seen the most. Um, realistically, um, I, I think an, an analogy is almost to think of it in a, in a real world scenario, right? So uh, this is quite helpful with a lot of computer technology. Imagine you were a supermarket and there are laws concerning the accessibility of your supermarket to customers, which there are. Um, so um, you need to for example, tackle things like no one can get in your shop because a wheelchair can't, you know, there's a step or something, you need a, a ramp. You need to tackle those things first, right? So the, the website equivalent would be your homepage is completely inaccessible to a screen reader or your navigation doesn't work for people with a keyboard, uh, for example, right? Um, those kind of things, you've got to fix those because that's the equivalent of no one can get in your store. But then imagine someone um, in a wheelchair can uh, go around your store, but they can't access some of the products on the higher shelves. Now, um, that would normally be understood, right? There would be a, a reasonable level of understanding that if there are some items that are not physically practical um, to reach, but assistance is available, um, then you, you know, that, that could be seen as nevertheless, you are complying with the law and you're accessible, you're, you're doing your best endeavors. Um, a lot of it comes down to the frequency and the, the severity of the barrier, right? Um, if you're saying the only way you can apply for a passport is via a form and the form is inaccessible, you are stopping people who do not meet those criteria. Um, but if you've got one page in a 10,000 page website that isn't 100% accessible, but that page gets viewed three times a year, it's probably not going to be the end of the world and as long as you can reasonably help with those things that's where your accessibility statement comes in then you can normally get around it